Meghan McCain goes off on Joy Behar, sets the record straight on Trey Gowdy. The Peter Strzok hearing was one of the most genuinely weird moments on Capitol Hill in quite some time, and the weirdness generated plenty of discussion. Some of that discussion, tragically, happened on the set of The View. In Friday's edition of the show, there was the usual oral assault as a group of liberals essentially ganged up on the show's token conservative, Meghan McCain. The majority, however, neglected to bring facts with them, which is usually problematic. Case in point, co-host Joy Behar, arguably the most liberal, and annoying, of the group, didn't know that Rep. Thray Gowdy was leaving Congress. Referring to Gowdy's contentious back and forth with Strzok, Behar said, they're afraid of losing their seats because they have to agree with Trump. Thray Gowdy is stepping down, he's not going to be in office anymore, McCain pointed out. I wish he would step down, Behar shot back. He is, you got your wish, McCain responded. Good, Beher said, to applause. Oh, please with the clapping. He's one of the good ones, McCain responded. No, he's not, Beher snapped back. It's interesting that the audience would applaud when Beher demonstrated her ignorance on the matter. As Fox News notes, Gowdy announced he wasn't going to run back in January of this year meaning that he isn't one of those people afraid of losing their seats because they have to agree with Trump. Because The View is a balanced show full of reasonable discussion, ha, guest host Sarah Setmayer openly wondered whether Trump supporters constituted a cult. There's a large group of people who blindly follow what this man says, that don't think for themselves, Setmayer said. That is a cult. That was actually a pretty good description of Barack Obama supporters. Meghan McCain wasn't letting her get away with it, though. I have made the conscious choice, and I have more reason than anyone in here to dislike President Trump. I'm sorry but I've made the conscious choice to try and understand his voters, an angry McCain said in conclusion. I think when we sit here, in studios in Manhattan judging the middle of the country, we make no waves whatsoever. Gowdy, it must be noted, is also not entirely on the Trump train. Some will remember his Dr. Zhivago comments after news of the Trump Jr. Veselnik's KIA meeting broke. It's also worth noting that while the panelists on The View were willing to call Trump supporters a cult and say that Republicans were going bananas over Strzok's text messages, none of them besides McCain seemed terribly appalled at the FBI agent's very bizarre behavior at Thursday's hearing. In short, Friday proved yet again what we've known for a long time. When you want to know what people who don't do a lot of thinking are thinking, mornings on most of